Howdy friends and welcome back to the channel. So you have a database and you want to get data-driven insights using machine learning at low cost and ideally for free. I hear you, my friend. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. There are many ways to do things, including machine learning and SQL. For example, you can use PostgreSQL. Here I want to introduce you an alternative starting from basic principles and learning along the way. Because I want to help everyone to use the latest technology without the need of paying a fortune or figuring out super complex algorithms. I am a data scientist who cares about solving problems. If you want to learn how to solve interesting problems with step-by-step -step tutorials, subscribe to the channel. And we are jumping right into our database. A quick side note, this tutorial became a little bit too big, so I divided it into several parts. In this part, I will talk about SQL Alchemy, so you will understand how to switch back and forth between SQL and Python. We will also create our sample database table for machine learning analysis, which we will do in the next part. Also. Uh, in the next part, we'll simply connect to this uh, database and read the table uh, to get uh, to the well-known Python landscape. But if you do not understand what I mean by this, please keep watching this video and soon you will become an expert. So here we are in the PG admin 4 a user interface for PostgreSQL. If you remember from my previous tutorial that we have our local database, local server called my local server. Database is basically only one database. It's a default name Postgres and a sample table, which you can see here from this uh, query that it has only four entities with uh, dummy data. I want to show you how to connect this database to Python, where we will do our machine learning. So I have already created Jupyter Notebook to showcase things step by step here. So we have basically three steps to use machine learning in SQL. Step number one, create a connection to the database. I will show you in a minute. Then read the table data in Pandas data frame, you will see how easy it is. And then do our machine learning stuff. I will show this in the next video to make it short and concise. But I will tell you a little story at the end about a mathematician and a cup of tea to explain this whole idea. So for the preparations, we will need open tools, must have SQL Alchemy, SQL Alchemy and Pandas because it's our base, basically how to connect transition from PostgreSQL to Python and the optional PsychoPG2 and .env. I will explain in a minute uh, why we do we need them. So basically the imports happen in the standard manner from SQL Alchemy right now we will need only create engine. So you import from SQL Alchemy, import create engine. To install SQL Alchemy, you can write in your terminal or in command line pip3 if you use Python 3. I guess and by now everyone is using Python 3. Pip3 install SQL Alchemy, then import PsychoPG2. Know that to install this package, you need to use pip3 install PsychoPG2 hyphen binary. And that's the name of this package. And then import pandas spd, standard stuff, Python 3 install pandas, and .env. From .env, import load.env. Pip3 install python.env. And, and import os. So, uh, why do we need uh, .env? Uh, because we have a secret password. A password that I created to connect to this database, to this server. You should have also created a password when you would set up the database from uh, Enterprise Database EDB website. And since sharing a password in this uh, public tutorial is not wise, I have created in the terminal, you can also create or 
anywhere if you want. Uh, I used Vim editor, I created vim.env environment uh, hidden file and added the line secret password, a good practice for adding secrets, password, credentials, etc. is to use all caps uh, letters, like this. Then secret password equal and then you write your password there. Then you save and exit and you can import this directly in your notebook so you don't showcase this to everyone right and the same thing goes on when you deploy code uh, on the cloud you can use in cloud secrets uh, repository etc so it's a good practice and psychopg is the most um, commonly used dialect in the postgres sql i will explain it in, in a minute so connect to your our your our local database uh, so i uh, i will also link this uh, sql Al alchemy tutorial here but the most important parts are highlighted here which i prepared is to understand how this whole structure of sql alchemy api is based so you have your database in my case it's in postgres database to use sql alchemy to connect to this database through database api db api which uses engine as a starting point of this connection it's it's like as they explain, it's a home base for the actual database and API. And it is directed through the connection pool and SQL dialect. Dialect tells how the DB API and database should talk between each other. And uh, you can also check out here many dialects from my MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, Microsoft. SQL Server, SQLite, etc. So in our case, we'll use Postgres SQL with the PsychoPG. So the syntax is actually as the following: you import create engine, and then say that the engine create engine. Here is your dialect plus credentials plus the password at the host. In our case, it will be also local host or 127.0.01 as the IP address and then in the database name. I created a, a short need function which I will link in the description box below that uses as parameters the user, username, password, host, port and the database. Here is our stream that uses this Postgres SQL and PsychoPG2 dialect, then our user, password, host, and as I explained just now. Then we create engine based on this string. If you don't know about fstrings, it, uh, in Python it allows you to use parameters directly within curly braces. It's a very neat way to write the code. Then we just basically use a simple, you can use simply engine.connect to created engine but if you use try catch try accept block uh, you can showcase the error if things didn't work out just uh, pin this error without breaking a code and that's a beauty of this try accept block i will link this in the description box below and here we go for our credentials you have your postgres user which is a super user in this case it's a standard username if you create a database again as i explained in the video that i linked before we use our secret password again read from the environment localhost standard port 5432 and the database name is postgres if you have a different name use a different name right and then we call this method let me run this i will import everything is imported well i will initialize what do we have successfully connected to, to the postgres sql database now a cool thing about combination of pandas and sql alchemy is that you can read sql query directly inside the pandas data frame so remember here is our table, sample table, but we can create a data frame right outside of the box using pd.readsql, read SQL, 
command here is your command name which is basically the same as this it's just not ordered by it doesn't matter with four values and then we specify query and connection engine equal to this this where was our engine here is our engine from this connection does it make sense i hope it does and then i will simply showcase the first five values ah what's happening why our engine engine is not defined If I return engine, now it is defined. So the the issue was here that I didn't return the engine. So it was just a local variable hanging around inside this method. When I return engine, now it is accessible as the global variable. And here we have our database. So now, besides this, I just want to show you that you can close the connection to the database by simply using engine.dispose. Right now, we will move to another table because doing machine learning stuff with only four values is useless to say the least, right? Then we need a good, big, proper table. I'm not going to create it from scratch for you, sorry, but I will just take something existing. So you, you can either go here again, you will find links in the description box below. You can go to this sample table of house price predictions and either just read XML directly from this link or you could just simply, if you're using a new MacBook as I am using it here, then you will find the security issue. So, uh, what I would do is just for the sake of this uh, example, I will go here and simply go to the file, download, and download as I like to use CSV, comma, separated values. Here you can use uh, XLS or whatever format you think is inappropriate. So I'm downloading it here. As you can see, I've already downloaded here and basically it's in our local repository so i just define instead of the url it's a local file and simply read as csv inside the pandas let's do it and here we see that it compiled well and we have our first five values here for housing prices so i will go through each in column individually when we will start doing machine learning stuff because right now it doesn't matter what this table shows exactly. Now, I want to show how to save this table from these pandas to the database table. So you will see that uh, basically at first we need to define table name, which will be basically housing underscore prices. And then we save housing dataset, this pandas data frame, to SQL, to underscore SQL. That's all you need. Then you have your table name, housing prices, connection engine, again, the engine that we established in before from uh, SQL Alchemy. If exists, replace. You can remove this parameter if you don't want to replace existing table by mistake. And uh, index fools. Then we, after that, we will just close our connection. Let's run this it ran successfully and when i go here i will refresh and see ah do you see here is our two invoice and housing prices all the columns are here and stuff let's just quickly view maybe the first hundred rows to make it here is our housing price this is basically i wanted to show you how to use sql and alchemy in a very basic way of connecting to the database reading database table into pandas data frame 
and why is it inverse if you have a data frame? How to write it in the database table? But now, why did I close this connection to this engine? Because right now we actually start our tutorial. Thank you for watching the machine learning in SQL tutorial, where we discussed how to use SQL Alchemy. I hope it was interesting and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Give it a like to help the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. See you in the next video.